Good morning, everybody. I'm here with Parks trainer, Harry Weiner. Harry, tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been training racehorses and been in this game. I've been in this game all my life. Um, I come over here in 1989 from England. I was a jockey for six years. And then from there, I went to, I was an exercise rider for another five years, galloping for many trainers at Delaware Park. And then I went to New York and I was assistant trainer for Mark Henning. Then I went out on my own in 2005 and I've been training ever since uh, at Parks. Awesome. With the average monthly cost to care for one racehorse being anywhere between, you know, 1500 and 2500 how are your clients handling it, especially clients who have multiple horses? It's very tough for them to pay. Um, we had to make multiple changes to my stable, uh, enable for them to pay and and to cover the cost of the horses that we have. I had to turn some out on the farm. I had to cut back on help. Yeah. Um, I've laid some people off that have been with me for six, seven years. It's just been very difficult. Has the number of horses you had prior to COVID-19 changed to what it is currently? Yes. I had 23 horses and now I'm down to 15. Wow. Now, if Parks was to start racing again, do you feel we would be as successful as places like Fauner Park and Tampa Bay Downs, who just extended their meets due to record online handles? Most definitely. I think our handle would be up to four or five million a day. Yeah. Which is double than what we usually do. Yeah. Now, Harry, in closing, we would love to get your story out there on our social media platforms. Is there anything you would like to express or add to um, Governor Wolf? Yes. Um, I like to say that there's no reason why we can't race when other tracks are racing and we follow the CDC lines. It's the same people in the morning that are, you know, that go to the races in the afternoon and it takes less people in the afternoon to run the races as it does in the morning. Yeah. As with our training and everything. So there should be no reason why we can't run. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for your time and I hope everybody at home and at the barn stays safe and healthy and um, we hope to see your horses running again soon. Thank you.